Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I'm Helen as you know and Tony my partner and Captain Bruce our British Bulldog we are on a 57 foot narrow boat and we are roaming around buggering about on a boat. <laughs> That's what we're doing. So today what we're going to do with our vlog is I'm sorry the last two have been pretty crap because last week we were telling you about what we do for jobs because people were asking us and this week we're, we're telling you about what jobs you could do with no experience on a boat but we've put it in with our usual vlogging as well i thought somebody was coming and i'm chatting away so what we've decided to do is i've come out for an hour because i'm really grumpy today um i'm <laughs> As you know, I'm having an operation soon and they've made me come off my HRT that I've been on for four years and Tony's going to kill me. So he sent me out and he's brought me out for a coffee and a cake just just so I can cheer up and stop being a miserable pig. So we're going to do our usual vlogging like we do normally and then at the very end, we're going to just give you a couple of pointers of jobs you can do, you know, for yourself um from your boat and then but what i'm going to do is we're not going to do them all because it was just bloody boring so we've put them in a pdf and they're going to be in the description as well for you so hope you enjoy this one i promise not to be too grumpy all the way through it and yeah i'm going to have a my coffee now <laughs> So these are the jobs we need to get done. He's going to get done, Tony, in a minute, if he keeps being lippy with me. <laughs> these here, you can't get splinters in your asses, can you? So them two need doing. One of them split slightly, so I'm going to sand it down and put your varnish. And I bought two black, or oh, what they call shower caps, so I can put them on. Um, then then the fan it went. <laughs> Tony says he's got me a brush. So yeah, we're having. We're just gonna start cleaning everything up now. We've got a little bit of patching up to do on the on here. Can you see where we've just got to touch up the black in? That was at Pennington, that weren't it, Tony? Huh? When we got that, them scratches at Pennington. I know. Tony's gone helping Janice in that boat there. Send out help if you don't see me in five minutes. <laughs> he said he's, he's um, Janice, our neighbour, she's lovely. She's, she needs help with her steps, so Tony's gone doing that. Just to know why these are. They keep falling out, these lot. Listen to them. They're well naughty. They keep fighting them two. Little sods. <laughs> so this is where I want to get out. I need to get out of here because I'm eating loads. <laughs> no, I, need, I need to get out. I need to get out. Then I'm exercising a little bit. You've got to laugh at Bruce. He's just... I've got an old clapped out micro and I've just opened the the boot <laughs> and he's jumped in I've opened the boot and opened the car door to put my boots on and he's just jumped in look at him you can't stay in there lad when you get your proper car <laughs> he's crackers what are you doing there you what are you doing hiya I opened door torn if it put uh, my boots on and he jumped in car come on Bruce well, we can't be asked doing what we're meant to be doing. So we've come to Mia Sands Wood and they've got a visitor centre and stuff. And there's some nice walks that Tony's been on before. Oops, space there, Tony. So that's where we're going to go now. They're doing it up um, and it's been shut for a month because they've been doing more things for wildlife and things, as you can see here. So yeah, we'll take you around here with us we can't be asked doing any jobs can we not today at all when the sun's out you've got to get out haven't you so this is the way so this is the way we're gonna go as you can see we're gonna try and go this way come on bruce
And it says there, let's have a look at that. It says, dog walkers help nesting birds keep your dog on a lead. We do anyway, because ours is, it's lovely here. It's really nice. Let's go. So this is where we're, where we are now, Mia Sands Wood in Rufford near Armskirk. So here they've got a woodland ecosystem and they've got all sorts here. It's, I'll just go and have a walk in. Don't Come on Bruce. Let's have a look. I'm not going to go too far in because I don't want to disturb anything but you see they've like got a little bird up there. Oh. Bruce, he's not happy because he wants to, um, he wants Tony. He's definitely a one man dog, this one. Tony's gone back because every time we start to walk, Bruce decides it's toilet time. It's been closed for quite a bit, well, about a month, just a bit over a month because they've been doing all sorts of things um, to attract more wildlife and make it more, you know, things for bugs, birds, you name it. Look at them too. I bloody love them, me, you know. I bloody love them. So far we've seen robins, yellow tits, that big tit over there. <laughs> Tony tit! <laughs> if you look at how many trees there are here, there's loads. Look, he's got a big bonfire over there. I think he's doing things up there where he climb up and down. Could do with that foot boat, Tony. <laughs> but yeah, I love. Look at them just in the middle of here. I want to see a mall. Me. I need I need we need one of these foot boat. Obviously we wouldn't take it from here. But yeah, that's what I want. It's lovely here. It's really nice. Well, it's getting nicer and nicer where we are now. What a nice place this is. Mere Sam's Wood it's called. Really nice. I love bridges. Little bridges. I mean, who leaves that when there's a bin? just there. Do you know what I mean? Irresponsible dog owners. I mean look at this here now. Everything's been like cut down but used for something. Like look at that there. Nearly as chunky as me that. <laughs> like they've made a bench there. when he knows I can't walk very fast. <laughs> Look at all trees leaning to right. <laughs> I just love how they've made things from other things so like like little seats you can have. I like how they've made it. Tony said there's a lake. He said there's a few a few lake type things and he better not be lying because my plastic toes are killing me and me um I need a wee and there's some Maltesers in car <laughs> that I want. So he better he better bloody find them. He better find this body of water now. Otherwise, there's got to be bloody trouble. I've walked around this way last time. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Too long for me. So you obviously that's not in use anymore. Looks like something It does, doesn't it? I bet that were brilliant though when it was one working. It's quite eerie to be honest. Look at that though. Is that some taste of a bloody horror movie? I'm shitting my pants, I'm going back. Wait for me. I'm qu <laughs> it's quite scurry that. Oops. <laughs> I don't need a boo bag. Got over there, which you can't probably see. There is water. And I love water. Not to drink, just to see it. <laughs> Let's have a peep. Oh, it's nice, as you can see. See, Tony, there's a hut in the distance over there. And there's water here. Look at this. Wildlife for all. And wow. It was a smile torn. No. no. <laughs> well, it's stunning here. So what did you think of me a sounds ward? We think it's dead nice. We've had good a shorter route because my bloody feet and I'm mourning all the time. But look at this here. You can kids can do etchings and stuff. How cool is that? I mean I don't think my kids would do it, they're a bit old now. 17 and 22. I think she's 22 um so yeah it's really nice here i highly recommend it we were going to do the um we were going to do the long route but it's not happening i'm too close to the up to have <laughs> to be going on long treks i'm walking like i've done a boo in my pants <laughs> so yeah look at it behind it's just really really nice He's miles ahead of him, of me, Luke. Yeah. Oh, we've got back on the boat and Tony's got a ladybird on him. How bloody dare she? How dare she? Oops. Where's it gone? It's gone in the Let's see ya. Well, we're back from the walk. It was really, really nice. Really nice place. Mia Sands Ward, really nice. Um, have I said it's nice? <laughs> Maybe once or twice. So now we're going to have a butter. We're going to have a bag of crisp on the side because we're posh. A nice green tea because we're even posher and then we're just we're just going to settle down for the night um ready for a busy day tomorrow i'm really bloody grumpy <laughs> i'm never grumpy to look at tony car over there can you see him let's see if you can see him there can you see him over there <laughs> i think he's there <laughs> he said go go over there he said and go and have 10 minutes to yourself and pull yourself together because he took me to an ice cream van he took me to an ice cream van because he said, come on, you're having hot sweats, you're dead annoyed with everything. I was annoyed with my hair going in my mouth and sticking in my lipstick. I was annoyed with me, me bloody fluff off my coat. So then he, he went to take me to the ice cream van and then it wasn't there. So we ended up having to come back, but he's took me to for a coffee and cake now and we're happy. So we're going to give you some tips now. Let me take my glasses off then I can see you. Um, we're going to give you some tips now on a countdown of the jobs that you could do online. Um, if you decide to work from your boat. There are many, many more as in the PDF, which is in the description below. Um, hope they help. One thing you could do to make money on a boat is sell your own wares and your own makes from your boat. So, like for example, we are going to be selling our wares from our boats, you know, the things that we hand make. So, you know, do you enjoy crocheting? Do you enjoy doing a little bit of gardening? You know, where you could sell little pot plants or little crocheted items. It could be absolutely anything. And there's a little bit of a novelty. Sorry, there's a motorbike going past. There's a little bit of a novelty in people selling um, things from the side of a canal. I mean, obviously you have to get a trader's license, which we have mentioned, but you know, pop, in, pop your little things. So something that makes you feel good inside, you could make it, you know, 
it, it, it's like a paid hobby really something that you enjoy making you can or, or and you can pop it at the side of your boat and set and get a little etsy page or something like that i can help you with all that if you want to and you can sell it from the boat it's it's great so you could post it online when you get to certain post offices we only post on a wednesday and a monday because that's when we can get to the post office so you could do that as well so say if there's something you don't you know you don't make your own things or that you don't have something that you think you could sell but you'd like to sell so say you're interested in candles you can do drop shipping so you can either drop ship from your boat so you can set up a little website where drop shipping is basically you sell other people's items but you don't hold the stock so you can make a little bit of profit on each one and we me and tony have made quite a lot of money on drop shipping over the years you know but we only do it on things we enjoy um that we like buying ourselves as well because we can buy them at cost for us so that's a good a good idea i've got a couple of websites you know um if you wanted to reach out to me um, and and I can help you with that as well so if you tell me what you like you know I'll be able to help you find a website that'll drop ship for you so they send it to you don't actually meet the customer they order through your little website and this this they ship um, the item to them you know and, and it's as simple as that so those are two ideas you know and, and you can also go to wholesale places as well there's lots of wholesale online if you search, search wholesale candles wholesale wax melts things like that you'll be able to get things online and you can buy them really really cheap and you can sell them at the side of your boat as well easy another thing you could do is blogging and vlogging so like we do the vlogging on youtube so like i'm just doing this vlogging now aren't i you know um and you can make money off from youtube and that you know in in time it just take a little bit of time to to build up but you can make money and it's just blogging is basically talking about what you enjoy so if you've got a skill you know it might be something it's not even a skill it might be just something that interests you so it could be mental health it could be fly fishing it could be saucy underwear i don't know it could be anything um if you've got a passion and you can write about it where you can inspire and help others or just people might be interested if it's funny or anything like that you can make money from that so that's another idea they're free to join just go onto youtube and search how to blog how to do do you know how to blog how to vlog and you'll get loads of tips there hope that helps another job you could do is data entry now that is there's loads of jobs for that and that there's if you go to like read.com and all the you know if you search data entry jobs from home there's loads of jobs on data entry you can do it from home now some of them you might need to learn about excel but if you go to like the training courses there's i'll put the links in so it's easier to explain but there's some co like courses which you can go you can do them for free where they can teach you how to do data entry and things like that and learn about excel and if you could do like take the time to just do the little training course then you'd be able to apply for the jobs and all you do is put a cv in but there's so many of them um they're in the the job websites are inundated with data entry things so that's another job you could go to as well so there you go another job Another one you could do is network marketing. Now, I've been with a network marketing company for four years and some months have been absolutely amazing. Some months have been quiet, but I just keep it going and it's like a paid hobby. So all of my makeup I wear is from this company. So, you know, you, you get commission on your, on your orders as well. So you get commission and you also get profit on your sales as well. So you get paid twice. Not all of the network marketing companies are good. Um, but I do know quite a lot of them that are, so I can help you with that. So pop me a message on Instagram or Facebook and I will be able to, um, you know, if you tell me what it is you like and what your interests are, I'll be able to match you on up. You know, health and beauty are always the better ones, really, um, because they're the ones that, you know, people use every day, don't they? You know, cleaning products, makeup, um you know shampoo conditioner you know things like that shower gels and stuff stuff like that so yeah that's a, that's another one but as i say um it's paid for the last three christmases for us so it's, it's it's a really good place to be another job you could do is affiliate marketing now affiliate marketing is eight so find something you're interested in whether it be clothing makeup um fishing 
darts, absolutely anything, any single thing you're interested in. And if you Google affiliate schemes and then whatever your niche is, then you'll be able to find some products that you can sell or advertise. And if people buy them, you get commission for it. I do it with a high ticket program, which is, you know, if somebody joins, I do get quite a lot of money. Um, but it's, it's very expensive to buy, but there's some you don't have to pay any money at all for um, to be in, to be part of. And even Walmart do it. So if people buy from Walmart and you're one of their affiliates or Fiverr.com, you get paid for it. Another job you could do is teach English to foreign students. Now, people might think, oh, well, I can't teach. I'm not, I'm not a teacher. I have no degree, you know, or anything like that. Um, I got into, I did have a degree, so that's how I got into it. However, you don't need to have a teaching degree or anything like that. You can start, you know, as a complete beginner and they will train you properly in it. And it's called TEFL or there's one called TESOL, but I'll put those in the links for you in the description. And you don't need any experience at all. They will teach you step by step how to teach English to foreign students online. And it's such an enjoyable job. I thoroughly enjoy it. You teach children in China, Singapore, you name it. You can Thailand. It does, there's loads of different countries and they're always looking for people. So if you can speak English and write English and, you know, get that across to somebody else in a, in, you know, in a, in a nice way, then it's ideal for you. Well, thank you for watching everybody. Thank you for tuning in this week. It's been a bit of a different vlog, hasn't it? These last two weeks have just not been our usual style at all. They've not been as fun as they normally are. And that's because we're trying to do things and answer questions as best we can. But we won't be doing that now. <laughs> We've realised that we don't actually, although we want to help everybody naturally, um, we've, we're just finding it really boring to vlog about. So what I might do is if you follow us on Instagram or um northern narrowboaters on instagram or facebook i'm going to start putting stuff in there instead you know instead of doing it on a vlog because i can't be boring me it's it's boring and it's it's stressing me out <laughs> so we're not going to do that anymore so obviously we will ask a couple of questions a few one question we do get asked a lot is how do we manage such a big dog on a on a narrowboat and it's easy we actually chose our narrowboat to fit bruce in so all of our choices had Bruce first in mind. Um, we needed, you know, a semi-trad or something like that where we can have Bruce and be able to sit. We also made sure that he'd got room in the boat. It was really important for us. That's why we had the cratch board and cover put on. Um, that's another story which I will tell you about. But we had that put on so he had his, he's got the room he's got anywhere plus he's got the whole room in the cratch area as well which is loads of room for him. So yeah you've just got to be very very mindful that you've got to get off the boat as much as you can. Um, luckily we've got an old British Bulldog who doesn't want to walk but we do try and get him off as best we can. But um, he's an old man now but we've rescued him. We rescued him four years ago and we've given him the best life possible and he's going to be with us for a lot longer you know he's, he's a belting dog and he's really enjoying it so if the sun comes out he just likes basking in the sun so we've just bought him an um, you know one of the children's pram umbrellas so we can sit and have the brolly over him in the summer so that'll be good it's going to go on the side here so thanks for watching everybody we do appreciate it and we we do hope we make you smile we've had lots of nice comments and lots of messages and things and thank you for buying us a coffee that's really really gratefully appreciated you know we're, we're really grateful for that and we've bought bags of coal with it and um, we did buy a coffee with it bought a coffee each but we've bought bags of coal with it and we bought brew some treats as well so thank you very much so you know as always it's goodbye from me goodbye from tony and goodbye from captain bruce and as always forget me not bye